Welcome back to another vlog. We are currently in the middle of a snowstorm. And I am attempting to leave the house after like three days because I haven't had food. I gotta get food. My friend is picking me up because I didn't think ooh, my car would be able to get out the apartments but now that I'm looking at it I probably could lift the house oh shit yeah this is ridiculous Ooh. I've lived in Oklahoma all my life and I've never seen this so much snow like this is my car I probably would have to scoop the snow out and I don't have the tools to do that. It's, I'm gonna just let it over my side. Hey, you said what? We came outside and it is snowing like rain. And we wanted to be outside. <laughs> we should have cut it short. to watch TV I definitely need suggestions for stuff to watch since we're gonna be stuck in the house between quarantine and snow blizzards I mean what is really tea you know so what's your favorite movie drop it in the comments I need to know cuz I've been in the house for three days and I haven't watched anything so help me out <laughs>
business, you got to make some more money. And I said, oh, okay, no problem. But in the midst of me making up clients and doing lashes and brows over the last couple days since the snowstorm, I literally have not done anything for myself but the basics, which is wash my face, brush my teeth, and shower. I need to take these Cleo braids out of my head so I can quit wearing this Auntie Mama hair wrap on my head. I'm so tired of it, Lord Jesus. I'm just ready to take it off. Take it off, Lord. Take it off my head. And condition my hair because my scalp is dry. But, yeah, I'm ready for that. So, hopefully tomorrow, my last client tomorrow, I think, is at 3. So, I'll be done tomorrow about 5 o'clock. And then it's all about me. You know, I'm going to take these braids out, deep condition my hair, put some oils in it. And then, mentally prepare myself for my child to come home so I can be the best mother I can be to her and pour into her while she's with me for her week. But anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. But yeah, so y'all will probably see me in a little bit. I'm about to, like I said, pick up some supplies and then go to the client's house. I'm going to vlog a little bit while we're there. And then, yeah, so I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. But we're going to go to Target tonight because I need a little Target feel. There's some things I need at Target. I've been Target once today. They didn't have what I needed when I was there. But I'm going to try to Target out by my client's house and see if they got what I need. But yeah. So I will see y'all in a little bit. Just what I said. You know what? No. I'm tired of loving these things with my hands tied. That's the problem. We loving them effortlessly. 2021, I'm not loving nobody with my hands tied. I'm not doing it. Sorry, Tony. I can't. I cannot join that party anymore. You know, she say, it's right in your face. You be right in this nigga's face and they still be out here doing dumb shit. That's the topic for another day. It's not about that. Like, we just be so doggone eager to love these niggas for what? Love them for what? Because I, I just ain't. I personally ain't benefited from loving a nigga at all, ever. None, nothing has come good from fucking with these niggas. I just don't know. You know, and people say, you know, you had a child. I did have a child. And I love my child. She is a product of, you should let that nigga alone, though. That is what she is. And I, and I love her every, every ounce of my baby I do. But I just wish things would have been different, you know? Like, that is... That is a, a lesson I had to learn, you know. Somebody told me one time, if you don't leave a nigga alone, the Lord making me your baby daddy, and he sure did. And you, you ain't got to worry about me no more. 2021, I'm cutting all, well, I would say I'm cutting all toxic off, but I really realized that I'm more toxic than I thought. And I, yeah, but listen, the old toxic shit that I was dealing with, I'm done with that. And the new toxic shit I'm on, I, I'm on. But it's not as toxic as the last situation. So progression. That's how I see it. Progress. You're doing better. Yeah. But I mean, as I do better, eventually I'm going to cut him off too. And then I'm going to go to the next nigga. You know, that's just how it works. We're dating. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to call it. We're dating. We're going to go from, from really toxic to less toxic to not toxic. You know, we're going to go in stages. It's okay. You know? I'm having fun with this one. I can't let him go just yet. I, I tried. He came back. And I was, come on, I'm ready. Yeah, that's the problem. I need help. But, anyway.
it's looking like a fourth grade school teacher. How's it going? You like her? I don't know if she's ready to uh, date. What you mean? All she's talking about is you. Every time you log in, I'll be here for you. I said, don't switch your link. Moet, it's Andy. And Japan. It's a new world of experience at your fingertips. Let's get working. This is what it's about. We're gonna try. The home of interactive personal. What's training. good, y'all? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's hella early. It's 7 o'clock. And I have an 8 o'clock client house call. So I got up at 6 so that I could get all the stuff put in the car. So today I'm not doing lashes over there. I'm doing makeup for two people. Um, makeup is not a service that I really just put out there that I offer. I've done her makeup several times. So I believe that's why she asked me. I think I had a booger in my nose this whole time. Wait a minute. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, last night I got home at like 11. What is this? Okay, thank you. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. It is early AF. It is Saturday morning um, at 7 a.m. I am getting ready to head to a client's house for a house call. I have two girls makeup to do this morning. Makeup is not a service that I just really put out there that I do because to be quite honest, I'm not very confident in doing makeup as I feel like I should be. But she keep asking me, so I'm gonna keep coming. I actually did her makeup wedding for her bridesmaids and I've done her makeup for engagement pictures, all kinds of different things. So she's like my life size Barbie doll. Um, makeup is something I want to get into. Sometimes I say that, but then I'm like, no, I don't want to. I'm back and forth. But I definitely want to perfect the craft. So when other people call to do it, like I can do her makeup because I know her and I know her face, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, let's go do that. I need to um, get some breakfast before we go. I got some peppermint tea. And I added some lymphatic drainage drops in there because your girl is swollen this morning. <laughs> Even last night, I put my ab boards back on and my waist trainer and my faja because the way I was swollen last night was ridiculous. Like, what they don't tell you is after surgery, yeah, you be cute. Your body be on flat for a second. But let you drink too much alcohol, eat too much salt, come out your faja, you're going to be busting like a can of fucking biscuits. But they don't tell you that. But, I mean, I still do it again. Just because I like my body. But it's really a lot of maintenance. Uh, soon, I definitely want to get me a... Um, what is it called? A wood therapy massage. Um, I haven't had a massage in like two months. And I'm really uh, upset with myself because why haven't you had a massage in two months, you know? Available with highways. Okay, girl. Take me on the highway. Whatever. But anyway y'all y'all will probably see me in a little bit i'm about to i don't even think i'm gonna have time to get breakfast because i'm supposed to be there at eight o'clock and it's 20 till so i'm gonna skip breakfast for now and we'll grab something later so i'm gonna pull up my camera when i set up at angie's house so y'all can see you know kind of how things go at house calls i took y'all on a house call last night that was for lashes but this is for makeup so People really be thinking I don't be doing shit, which is funny because I am probably the busiest person I know. I never sit down. Like, I literally just got a text from a client asking me, can they get in tonight? And uh, I don't want to. I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm tired. I was looking forward to being done at 5 o'clock. That's gonna push me back to about 7. And I don't know if I want to be pushed back that far. But anyway. I'll see y'all in a little bit.
like a dream. Yeah. <laughs> My mother-in-law came in and was like, uh, it feels like I'm in a boutique. Can I just take what I want? <laughs> it's so cute. Hi, babies. Oh, this mirror is awesome. And you say hi. It's her hi. birthday. This is Britt, her friend. This is before shot. <laughs>
I'm setting up so I can be ready when he calls. I'm trying to make sure my lighting is good. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm doing. I have not ate today. I'm hungry. But I'm going to get food shortly after this. <laughs> 